Hi everyone, Christina here, and I am so happy to share a new What I Ate Today video with you. My intention for this video was to focus on gardening, sustainability, and of course, healthy, nutritious food. Many of you know I've been a fully raw vegan for 16 plus years now, and I'm so passionate about my lifestyle, and I feel so blessed to be able to share this with you. So many of you loved my previous video where I brought you into my world and I allowed you to hear the sounds that I was hearing and experience things in real time with me. And so I've incorporated more of those elements into this video for you today. I want to thank all of you so much for your love, your kindness, and your support along this journey with me and for building a community around wellness. More than anything right now, I am truly realizing how important it is to cultivate communities and to be able to connect with like-minded individuals and so this is a blessing to be able to share with you here and to connect with you and talk with you and so for every single person who shows up with kindness and positivity encouragement and more i just i love you and i thank you before we dive into this video i have one huge announcement for you I am so excited to be collaborating with Groceries Apparel on this video today. You've seen me share Groceries Apparel with you in my previous videos. If you've been watching any of my recent videos, you'll have noticed I'm wearing a lot of Groceries Apparel clothing. Groceries Apparel is one of my absolute favorite organic, sustainable, and 100% non-toxic clothing companies. Their hemp and cotton clothing are made from upcycled food waste and dyed with vegetable dyes. That's right, you heard that correctly. They literally color their clothes with pomegranate rinds and even flowers and leaves dyed from indigo. Their clothes are vegan and made with incredible ethical practices. All of their clothing is made in Los Angeles, and this is a small business who is currently committed to changing the fashion industry. They've just released their new line of clothes, and their theme and their focus has been roots and ocean. This red set right here is dyed from pomegranate rinds. And this blue, green, and yellow set comes from indigo flowers and leaves. How beautiful is that? A commitment I made to myself last year was that I was going to try and wear as much organic clothing as I possibly could. And I was going to try and support small, sustainable companies, especially when it comes to clothing. It's actually really hard to find cute organic clothes out there. And groceries apparel, in my eyes, is changing the game. And the fact that they're created with vegetable dyes makes them even that much more perfect for me. Groceries apparel is fully in alignment with my lifestyle. Not to mention, they're fitting, they're sexy, they're soft, and they're comfortable. I wear my groceries apparel sets everywhere I go, and they're comfortable enough to wear around the house and lounge in as well. I am so happy to share Groceries Apparel in this video with you today because they are a small business and a brand that I am happy to support. They are having a special sale right now and their clothes are 30 to 70% off. This is insane. They never do sales like this. You can use my special link below and the discount will be applied at checkout. Do not wait, do not hesitate. This sale will only last a couple of weeks. So please take advantage of this sale while you can. Please use my special link below and enjoy. All that being said, let's dive into this video and have a little bit of fun. We are coming into the rain season here in Hawaii, which means one minute it can be beautiful and sunny, and the next moment it will be thrashing rain. I love the rain. To me, it's soothing, relaxing, and cleansing. My days always start with Coco, as many of you know. My time with him in the mornings is the highlight of my day. I don't know what I would do without him. I've recently rescued and adopted three cats, and I'm still finding a routine with them. I feed them in the mornings and try to spend a little time with them. They each have their own little personality and are so sweet. So you haven't gotten the chance to meet Miss Chica. Chica is very quiet and reserved, and when she lets you hold her, it's very special because she's, she's very into her private space. And have, I know, I'm being left alone. And you've gotten to see Zorro a few times, hiding in trees and things. Depending on what day it is, or if it's rainy, I'll jump on my Inner Circle Zoom calls and spend time with our amazing community. I open the floor for questions and offer support, this time getting to connect with other individuals who care about their health and well-being is so special. I've been riding my bike to the beach a lot lately to get in my morning workouts. 
but on rainy days, I'll jump into the clear light sauna in my garage. I exercise daily because it's like medicine for my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well being. I alternate doing HIIT workouts with yoga. Sometimes I just make up my own workouts and do what feels best intuitively. Something I realized lately is my clothes used to smell so bad after sweating in yoga classes or in my sauna, and it's because I was wearing polyester. Over time, that fabric traps bacteria and the smell just does not wash out. It's gross. Now I work out on my groceries apparel clothing because the organic hemp does not gather a collective smell over time, no matter how much you sweat in it. It's pretty awesome. Winter is just around the corner and with so many yoga studios still being closed, I'd highly recommend getting a home sauna if you're interested. I have a clear light sauna with ultralight color therapy, no EMFs and Bluetooth speakers. They have sizes and options for every individual. I've added their email below if you want to reach out to them. Let them know I sent you. They are super nice. After my workout and after I get freshened up, I'll make my first meal of the day. Typically, this is a fresh green juice. I'm still intermittent fasting, so my first meal of the day is around 11 a.m., give or take 30 minutes. Lately, I've been focusing on making as many meals as I can using ingredients from my garden. So I've actually been trying to use as much as I can from the front two beds right here, beds one and two, because I'm gonna be clearing them soon and replanting them. So as you can see, a lot of the collards, the kale, the green curly kale and the lacinato kale have already bolted and overgrown. And this is very unusual that they've continued to produce, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I have not fully wiped the beds and replanted yet is because there's still so much kale on here even though they've bolted. And that's just a sign that I have really, really, really nutritious soil, which is a great thing. I've spent so much time in my garden, pouring love into sowing seeds and weeding. It's incredible to be able to witness the harvest grow into full abundance. These little moments in my garden are so special to me. The sounds, the little bites, the smells, it's all magical to me. Oh my gosh. Look at this giant cucumber. Probably only about half of this I will juice, but still. I can't believe this bed is still producing cucumbers. I spy another cucumber right here. This is gonna be so good for the juice. Look at this beautiful basil right here. I'll pick just one for the juice because basil in juice is actually really strong. Oh, this is lemon basil and it's, it's just gonna be perfect for this juice. How beautiful is this? So I have picked a basket full of cucumbers, peppers, a variety of greens and herbs to juice. I'm gonna make a delicious green juice with the ingredients from my garden and I even picked a hot jalapeno in there. But I wanted to show you all a nasturtium. They're edible flowers. You can decorate your salads with them, any dish really, but they're flowers you can eat. Nasturtiums can be sweet, but the aftertaste can actually be a little bit spicy. So I just wanted to show you these because my nasturtiums are going off right now and blooming and they're quite beautiful. Once I've collected everything I need to make my morning juice, I'll bring everything inside to start wash and prep. I recently got the new Nama J2 juicer and I love it. I will be using it to make this juice. I still have the Nama Vitality juicer and I actually use them both based upon where and what I'm doing. One of the reasons I love the J2 juicer so much is because it has a wide open lid that allows you to add in whole fruits or vegetables at a time. The J2 is intended for those who like to batch juice like me, who want to save time and who want to do less prep work. I actually love my time juicing and getting to drink my green juice after harvesting and juicing is my greatest reward. It's the perfect hydration and nourishment to start my day. 
Greens are alkalizing, remineralizing, and healing for the body. Green juice is life. For $55 off the Nama juicer, you can use the code ChristinaJ210 at checkout or see the links below. Now this, this is real nourishment for the soul. For lunch, I'm enjoying a banana and mango smoothie bowl. And I'll also be adding Sun Warriors vegan collagen building protein peptides, along with a scoop of their super greens and water or coconut water. Mangoes in my smoothie bowl lately just hit the spot for me. It's my current obsession. Lately, I've been doing two smoothie bowls in my day in between juicing and dinner. It depends on how active I am on the property. I have many updates to share with you on how we are progressing and restoring the fruit orchard. Stay tuned for a full update in a future video. Something special and different about this day, week, and even month is that I've been so happy to have many of my beautiful friends come visit me. In the afternoons, I'll take them on hikes or to different beaches. This is Gail and Jen, two of the most wonderful and strong women I know, and I took them on a four hour long hike this day. It was filled with insane views and tons of laughs. Even Coco loves our hikes. Spending time with your loved ones in nature is priceless. I cannot recommend it enough. I'm so blessed to have the best of girlfriends in my life, did I mention we got caught in a rain shower on our way back down? That was fun. Lately, it feels like I've been entering a meditative state while eating. I think it is so important to be calm when you're ingesting anything. Dinner will be an abundant, hearty, and super yummy garden salad. Usually when I tell people I'm eating a salad for dinner, I think they expect me to be eating a little appetizer plate, but my salads are definitely Christina sized. <laughs> I usually have to remind people that greens and veggies are so low in calories that in order to get enough energy and protein from them, you have to consume a higher volume of these foods to fully benefit, especially if you're a fully raw vegan. I try to get creative and use what I'm harvesting to make my meals. For tonight's picks, I'll use a variety of dark leafy greens like green curly kale, lacinato kale, mizuna, arugula, beet greens, Anaheim peppers, with fresh herbs like cilantro, cucumbers, colorful and spicy peppers, and more. For the dressing, I'm simply blending fresh lime juice with fresh garlic, lemon basil, water, raw pumpkin seed butter, raw tahini, and a dash of pink salt. This creamy and satisfying dressing is a staple of mine. It's so good when you really massage that dressing into your kale and let those flavors combine. I'll top the salad with freshly cut tomatoes and of course, avocado from my neighbor's epic tree. These are the best avocados in the world and I mean that. These homegrown avocados are like thick butter. I'll sprinkle on a little black pepper to taste. Every night around sunset, you'll hear the birds in my bamboo tree sing. 
I call it a symphony because it's definitely a social hour for them. I love it so much. When I turn on the garden lights and eat outside, it's the perfect ambiance to enjoy my meal. What a beautiful day. What are you doing, Nimble? Are you going to eat that avocado? Wait a minute. This is for you. Okay, here you go. So good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This salad is perfection. Mm, so good, hits the spot. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. If you've liked it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more deliciousness to come. If you've liked any of my outfits in this video or if you're wanting to support Groceries Apparel, please click on the links in the description below. They have the most amazing, organic, non-toxic, vegetable dyed hemp clothing. It's just, it, it's, it's just amazing and they really are a small business trying to change the fashion industry. And like I said before, they're having a 30 to 70% off sale happening right now. So please take advantage of this sale. Use the link below and the discount will be applied at checkout. Even with the holiday seasons coming up, I can't think of better gifts to give than organic, vegetable dyed, non-toxic clothing made in the USA. It's just, it's just amazing. And for those of you looking to find more raw vegan recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Recipe app. There are more than 450 raw vegan recipes on my app. It's available on both iTunes and Google Play. As soon as you download the app, it's free, and then you can choose between a monthly and a yearly subscription. I recommend the yearly because it includes everything. Those links are also below for you as well. All right, everyone, the holiday season is just around the corner and I have a lot of videos coming your way, so please stay tuned. I cannot wait to see you all in a future video. Sending you my hugs and my love.